Listen in on my way home. Can't wait to the back to the Airbnb. <coughs> yeah. All right. I'm going to charge up your tablet. Good luck, guys. Thanks, man. Have a good night. All right. So it looks like we got two live feeds of the same video. Our original live is still up, and we started a separate one, so there's just an individual post of this finals match. Players are making their way over here, and we'll get the uh, scoreboard updated. Yeah. Uh, we'll just get we'll get the score sheet and we'll get the score updated. Let them get started and um. You'd think I'd know the uh, races by now. Hold on. Let me. Did you look up the race?
Ten nine, so three two. Three, two. Yep. Right. Is that what I said? I'm very forgetful. We double check that one more time. I know I said it out loud. Yeah. That was ten nine, right? Yep. Yep. Three two. Okay. Probably come in a little later tomorrow. Yeah. Congratulations, oh man, nice shoes. Yeah. The ship talking begins. Hey, what's two club in the house? Do you, do you guys do you guys know the prize pool? What's no the difference idea. between first? We don't we don't know at this point. Sounds good. Oh, we we got it. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. What are you, who are we? Where where are we at? Fourteen hours later, seven hundred and sixty-two teams began to remain. <laughs> Here we are in Lincoln City, Oregon, for the APA Early Bird Scotch Championship. Tensions have mounted. Twisted Q Club has fought all the way through. We got a three-two battle here. I'm psyched. I'm Tyrell Datweiler, joined in the booth by Summerfield Habner, and this is oh, Summer. You funny man. I'm a funny Tyrell. Hill Hill Productions. All right, we got another camera back for the finals. It's exciting. Cam, yep. Tough opening rack here. Wide open table still. Hmm. Do you know who's who? Uh. So that's Gary. That's Gary. I thought we looked this up when they were on the stream last time. Who's who between Vincent and McLean? Um, Lonnie's in green. Okay. Daryl's in red. Okay. I mean, flip a coin. Yeah, I'd, I'd put my money on that. Well, he did one thing there. He created a great break ball. Are you going into these off the 14? You don't have too hard. In fact, you don't really want to. Get right between that 7, 8, 13 pops out. Hopefully the 11 pops out. Comes a little high. 
leaving the pack together. Speaking of the pack together, these guys are joking before the match. They're like, we could have just played this in the garage. Maybe. Yeah, I heard uh, I heard that one. Twisted Q Club. What a tournament for all them. Gets a perfect little nudge. Gets a 13 out of there. Does a 13 pass the 7? He's looking. All day. That's what we do here at Hill Hill. Have fun. Nine ball does pass the five. Boy, that could leave him a really good line for the breakout on the 13. Drills it. I mean, do you try to draw in? You got to get that 11 out of there. Yeah, it's like a straight pull shot here. Oh, he missed the stack, though. Yeah. Well, another break ball here. Back cut this into the side, a little outside. Just don't want to get stuck under that seven ball. Whew, that's a steep back cut. What a day it's been. Man, huge shout out to Chinook Winds Casino for all their support here. Big thanks to Bigel Box for keeping us here. Q Tech. I'm going to tell Carissa you said that. Thanks for keeping us here. <laughs> yeah, I ran into her too. Sometimes I choose my words wisely. <laughs> I ran into her too. She was very appreciative that we stuck Glad around to, to get this final on film. Man, if you've ever video. been in a situation like this, you, you would hope that somebody would stick around for you. Yeah. A lot of these are the biggest match that these guys have ever played. And even though these guys know one another, both of them, they gave a hug right beforehand and they said, I got to separate. They've gone to their separate corners. They're duking it out here. Watch this hit. Wow, great breakout. Tough cut on the four on the side, but you make that ball and it's looking really open. Just playing safe. Tried to get behind that eight. Open it up though. That 15's wide open. Has there been music in here at all, all day? No, there hasn't. Of course, now they want to try and get us the copyright strike as yeah, we go doing, doing the finals. finals. Yeah, when well, there's no other noise <laughs> in the room. Got to roll past this four on this 15, but not far enough down to get stuck behind a one. Called it. You called the possible bad thing. What does Glyph say? You, you have too much power. power. You, you, you wield too much power. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it open? Does he have it? I think he does. He's got that cut in there. Man. Yeah, look, there's a gap. The monitor's lying to me. Well, we've also been streaming with only the side camera all day because... That's true. Somebody forgot to pull the battery packs and plug them in last night. I apologize. That's all on Tyrell. On me. <laughs> it falls for him. This could make for a quick game one. Barely off center here. Calls his pocket with the cha. Zoom cam. Go to town.
Game one's in the bag. Nice shot. Well, Van Zant McLean strikes first. A one nothing lead, and they're on the hill, just like that on the hill. That's wild. That's wild. Hello. Ken doesn't like it. Not happy. Filing a complaint. Gary Racks. Yeah, the funny thing is, I think the last time Paul and somebody were on the stream, it was also a SL9, SL10 matchup. Mm -hmm. and I think that was pretty early on because I think they went to the loser side, I feel like. they Yeah, they battled all the way back. I'm pretty yeah. sure they did lose. Yeah, and this uh, modified single elimination format. I'm on a roll. I'm like yep. at least 90% with calling names. Yep. Up top, drinks are on you. Cowboy, we'll have a tip jar out tomorrow if you want to slide us a couple bills. <laughs> Beautiful. Cowboy's drumming up some luck. He's buying drinks tomorrow. You heard it here first. Nice try there. Let's see. Three, six, three, six. Open table still? I do get a kick out of how many people come up and we got these big old <laughs> broadcast headsets, big old earmuffs over our ears, and they're having a full on conversation with us, and all I can hear is oh this yeah. muffled. <laughs> <laughs> Not an open table, sorry. All right. Yeah, I thought he was bringing us another meal voucher before I realized it was a $1,000 cash out slip. <laughs> do we get a free sandwich? <laughs> oh, you get a thousand bucks. <laughs> Look out for the scratch here. Overcuts it, gets gets away with it. <sighs> boy, oh boy. Not a lot of margin for error here. Van Zant McLean closed this out in one rack. This is Lonnie at the table. Do you think that three gets around the 15? Looks close. That means it probably does. Yeah, I'd like to try to get on that three right now. I don't want to take the four. I want to leave my four. Awful straight here, too. Daryl steps to the table. Big draw stroke here if he's coming down table. Wow, hits it good. Look at that right on the one ball. Gets himself a little tree topped. I think he's on the wrong side to break that five out if he takes a three now. One doesn't really lead to much. I don't think the seven passes the 515. Yeah, what's the angle there? I think that three goes. Yeah, the three, the three definitely passes. <coughs> can he just go? Can, does he have a little bit of an angle where he could kind of go to the rail? So the f take the five down here in the lower left. Yeah, I like that. Just kind of stun over. Oh, he got a little draw off it. 
Seven does look like it gets around the one. <coughs> Draw stroke last time. Is he going to try to draw into it? I'll just nudge that. Yeah, boy. Running out of time to get on that five, but they're running out of balls, too. Yeah. You like trying to cut the one in the side and try and get between the 13 9 gap for that teeny little window? Whew. Yeah, I mean they're talking about Somebody's getting in, getting to that small window. Like that's. I don't know that you can get far enough down on the rail and get between there. Have to hit that with a bunch of inside to kind of stop that out angle. Can you? Whew, it's a little just too straight. I think they had a little more angle on the one they could put it in the upper upper right and maybe try and come across between the eight and the nine. Yeah. It's just that's ooh, tricky. Could you suck back with a little uh, left English and try and spin out of this bottom rail over there? Oh boy! I mean, he had a good path to track for it, but yeah, that's a tough shot. It really is. So you really need the action, and you gotta get the spin on there so it grabs out of that rail. Man. Looking at the bank, I yeah. don't think that bank goes. I think the Z goes around the nine. Uh, what, up into the upper right corner? Yep. I, I just don't, I don't see any other bank. Yeah. Uh, big shout out to Evo Sports. Thank you, Patrick Nix. Thanks for tuning in, keeping us company here. Excellent job to you as well. Patrick hosting both the semifinals leading up to this one. It's been awesome having all yeah. these tables streamed. It's going to be really fun for these players. Yeah, the Evo setup's great. He's, uh, regardless if uh, Patrick's around to throw some commentary in there, they've just got a saved, yeah. a saved memory, as, as he said, of their, their matches. They can go back and watch, see what went right, see what went wrong. Speaking of what went wrong, catching a scratch, that's the last thing you want there. Don't want to let Gary and Ken? Ken back in this thing. Ball in hand. Well, wide yeah. open table. No real problems here. What's your key ball? Key ball? Nine? Yeah, I like the nine. Ball in hand, though. I probably would have started with that 14. Mm-hmm. Yeah, boy, you get on the wrong side of that one and you can get in trouble. Yeah, you leave yourself a little much of an angle here. It's really easy to slide down too far unless he's just going to come down and back. Yeah, all of a sudden, you find yourself shooting a tough shot. I think you got to take that 11, follow it down and take the 14 in the side. Yep, 11, 14, 15, 9. Big shot here. This is to stay alive. They're already on the hill. Pressure's on Gary. Drills it. Wow. Nice shot. Great lead for that 14 ball. Man, the guys here so late, they already shut the bar down in the room. We're partying. Totally partying. Raging. Thanks for staying tuned with us out there. I should tune in myself. We got a few lurkers still this late. I know um, pretty much everybody else still out here at the coast has the team event tomorrow. Yeah. A lot of people starting at 9 a.m., so probably already in bed. Fine, guys. I know Get there's some, te some teams starting at 11. There might be a few of them still out getting in some trouble this evening. Here's open. We 
I tried to tune in. All right, Gary trying to play safe. Gets on top of the five, leaves a bank open. I mean, that's about all you got here. Thanks for tuning in, Black Dog. Playing for the Plays corner. The long rail, yeah. <sighs> All right. Should be out here. Yeah, a little breath of fresh air for uh, Ken and Gary here. For sure. They really need to get a get a game on the board. Need three in a row here. Yep. Yep. Tough action dropping that first one right away. Yeah. It leaves a kind of a funny little angle. You kind of got to push through this one. You either got to get underneath the eight or push work something off the rail to stay yeah. on top of it. Boy, hits that really good. Oh, man. Man, dead straight. Yeah. They want it. Yeah, it's kind of a delicate little shot. It really Let is. Letting yourself yeah, get hit that, that closely really ball, yeah. Ken closes out. Got a 1-1 match. A little late trying to get the close up on the eight ball there. Nah. Perfect. I, you know, I just, the fact that I can zoom in, it's got, pretty cool. Got some presets, so we can. I mean, it's no optical zoom, but it's pretty cool. You aren't wrong there. I didn't even know what that meant yesterday. Well, we still got a couple spectators in the room. I think they pronounce that employees. Well, Merlin. Yeah, Merlin Cowboy, sure. We got a couple other guys over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure enough. I'll be darned. It was nice. I know, right? Well, big break there. Gary struggled a little bit on, on the break in the last TV match. Miscued a couple times, so it's solid break there. Making a ball, wide open spread. Nice, what do you make? A stripe, I take it, since they're shooting stripes. Stripes it is. Not going to like that. Yeah, that's tough action. I don't think anything goes here. He's kind of got to try to play a safe here. I like playing off the 9 and under the 11. He thinks he's got it. He might have that 15. Boy, it's tight. I was looking at playing the 15 off the 6. Definitely a viable shot. Drills it. That's amazing. Coming with the shots, Gary. They're taking this thing to Hill Hill. We're one game away. Got to watch your scratch here. All about the cue ball. You got room to overcut this. He's looking at taking the 12 all the way up, but I think you start with the 11 here. Gets a little funky, though. That 12's taking you down table. You almost consider taking the 12 down to the lower left. Trying to drift over. He's looking at taking on this combo.
tough shot. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, yeah, cutting that uh, 15, or is that the 15 or the 12? 12. Cutting that in there and trying to get back up for one of those balls. I, I, I don't hate the combo. I don't think. Oh, he did pretty good. Yeah, he did. Man, it's looking like we might quickly have a Hill Hill match, which is right. what we love. At Hill Hill Productions. At Hill Hill Productions. We're doing the song. We got to do the song. Yeah, one ball. I want to take this 4-7 early on. You know, if we can get that jingle dialed in, I'm definitely soundtracking that for the um, NWPA stops, the, the little intro jingle. Oh, yeah. The thing writes itself. We'll put some work into it. We got all week. All week's happening quick, though. This I know. Is this day three? Day two. Day two. We still okay. got three more days. All right. We're not halfway there yet. We're all right, it's not going that quick. Day two was a couple days for sure. Day one, half a day. Day two, yeah. day two was three days. But day one, you know, there was a lot of... Uh, Patrick, we're working on it. We, we're we going to have to go back and listen to the stream because the first time it just kind of happened on its own and we nailed it, and then we've tried it a couple times and we don't quite remember it's not, what... It's not coming out. It's late. But maybe that's the best time. We locked eyes and it just happened. Yeah. Wow, that nine ball leaked out perfect. That looks pretty good. So yeah, first forward past the six. First day we had some set up beforehand and like we're came down to the wire and getting things working before singles started. You nailed it. Got us rolling. Today. Tech master. Talked to ourselves for four hours before somebody pointed out there was no audio on the stream. We had fun though. <laughs> we really did. Well, I guess to make up for it, we're we're here at one something in the morning, streaming the finals. I mean, who wants to be sleeping? That's crazy. I'm here for pool. Yeah. Talking to myself or not? What's great is, I mean, we were talking to ourselves already, but then we realized we were really talking to ourselves. <laughs> like, there was no option for anybody to even hear us. All right, we got we got the uh, the time one out. time out for Fallon and Simbilla for this rack. Yeah, roll that baby forward. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't care for the cut on the side. Is that six ball? That six ball is probably going to stop you dead in the tracks. I mean, I guess, you know, if you play it with some top, you could punch the six ball out of the way and go forward a little bit. But I like going all the way down. Oh man. So, I yeah, yeah, what I was thinking about works out, but I think he kind of rushed it there after. Yeah. Yeah, after, he really ap did. after um. Gary pointed out the side to him. He's like, oh, okay. Yeah. And, I mean, it worked out great. The yep. leave was fine. Yep. Of course, had he made the ball, the leave would have been different. I don't think it would have been too much different. No. I mean, the six pushed out of the way yeah. plenty. He has plenty yep. of room on the eight ball. Well, because he, he cued on the right part of the cue ball. Yeah. If he got down on it, I think there would have been trouble. Mm -hmm. Stun or a draw shot. And are you going for the out here, going for the win, or are you playing safe? I mean, I can't imagine. Like, I'm so, I can't even imagine not playing safe here. I'm absolutely thinning off the one and getting behind the six. But some people are no guts, no glory. Right. Going for it. Yeah, I struggle with that because I see it, and it comes down to how I feel, how my ball popping yeah, is. Absolutely. And I'm like, you know what? I can deal with things here. That's why I'd never say he should be shooting that. It's yeah. just the way that my brain yeah. works. Yeah, I catch myself sometimes making the mistake of being judgmental about what's right and wh what's wrong. I don't like the right shot, wrong shot. Yeah. Yeah, it's whatever you feel when you're at the table, and they can see it far better there than we can here. I mean, we have a pretty good view up here, but yeah. you know, there is something to be said about being right at the table. My ball goes. Looks like it'll catch the back side of the three. Oh, 
undercut it just a little bit. Undercut again. Looks like he bumped the six, discussing about where it was. Well, but that's a big difference. He just moved it to makeable in that lower right-hand corner, and it wasn't where it previously was. Oh, they didn't get the restoration right and where it was? I don't know if they didn't get it right. I'm just saying w where it moved to, it didn't go past the one, and now mm. it looks like it does. Oh, I feel like it did before. Is that yeah. was one of the things? I, I think yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that we're talking about it, I remember thinking, yeah, thing off the one get behind it. But I'm like, you know, if I take that combo, these balls are workable. Yeah. Right on top of that seven. I'm not cutting that. Yeah, it looks like he's looking at um, the one or the six up table. I'm guessing the one ball. I don't like the two because the nine's right there. Yeah, you end up. I think the one's the right shot. Yeah. Good shot. Very good shot. Even elevated a little bit, heading low on the cue ball. That's yep. not easy. Seven, six. Mm. Well, from here, it looks like. What do you think? Four, two, six, eight? I don't want to take that six on the side. No, it's, that's a kind of a steep, steep shot. Easy to get on the six from the two. Steep, shallow. I, I always struggle on what the proper. Oh yeah. Which one's steep and which one's shallow? Like. Yeah, it's funny how we always all He's describe it. I feel like I use them interchangeably, which is totally the yeah, wrong way to do not it. Because it's like I am being super extra clear on. <laughs> I say long rail. Oh, he banks at long rail when he's using the short rail, the but it's the long yeah, bank. Yeah. That's not correct well, at all. Yeah, the long bank out of the short rail. Yep. I used to do I used to do that a lot and then I finally when I started the, doing the NWPA stuff, I'm like, I need to quit saying that. That's the short rail. Yeah. And you say out of the short rail or long bank. Long bank out the short rail. <laughs> or the short or the straight short back, you know. Mm-hmm. But the funny thing is, the long rail is two short rails. Exactly. If you really think about it, if it's yep. not if it's not a three cushion table, <laughs> or a side pocketless mm -hmm. um, Earl Strickland table. The Earl table. I would love to play on one of those, except I really rely on the side pockets a lot. I I think the the proper way to play this, in a lot of people's opinion, would be. Four, six, two. Yeah, I like that. Coming back to the center of the table for the six. It's going to come up short, I think. Might. Yeah, but easy to draw. Yeah, He's a little, got a great little, angle to little, draw. A little pinch draw. Here. You want to make sure you don't stun above the eight ball or into the eight ball. Totally. You just, kinda, you just need to pinch it. You want to make good you full contact here. You know, pinch it back towards the other side pocket. Obviously, don't get way a hold of it. Yeah, it did good. Great shot. Did good. Let it two balls away from this championship right here. Let it didn't get a hold of it super crazy. Yeah. It, you know, it drifted. It. It's a little further away, but is he gonna commit to getting off the rail here? That's the he's got enough of an angle, but he's kinda gotta punch it. Doesn't want to leave that back cut. Yeah. You don't want to draw into the side either. Oh, wow. he hit that how do you hit that ball? Beautiful. All Dead right. straight. All right, for the win here. Ladies and gentlemen, this could be it. Daryl Van Zant trying to take this down. Early bird scotch doubles. 762 teams enter. Two remain. For the win. He drills it. Wow. And they can be friends again who once were foes, or friends again. Excellent match here. Man, thanks for tuning in here with Hill Hill Productions. Hey, My name's Tyrell Datweiler. Let's get a look at those trophies over there. Havener. Yeah, look at those. Quit vibrating so much, you're shaking the camera, <laughs> which this camera hates. Am I vibrating? Is it me? 
Yeah, I think we're just trembling out of the sheer excitement. Our vibrations are yeah. so strong. Huge shout out to Chinook Winds Casino and Resort, Q Tech, Big Ol' Box, APA, all you guys tuning in out there. Congratulations to all these players. Daryl Van Zant, Lonnie McLean taking it down, Ken Phelan and Gary Sambelia. Congratulations on a wonderful tournament. We're gonna see you guys real soon tomorrow. We got a ton more pool action coming your way through Sunday. Yeah, play starts at nine. Um, we were here late, so we're not gonna be here at nine. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try and be here by 11 because I know there's 11 o'clock matches. But uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll definitely be here by noon. Beautiful. That sounds good. Noon yep. sounds good. Yep. I'm into it. So. Up top, we're going to work on that song. Yep. We're going to bring it to you tomorrow. Yep. It's been real. It's been fun. We'll leave it's it. It's been Hill Hill Productions. Patrick, we'll leave it as an exercise to the listener to go back through the stream and find the original. <laughs> yeah. I any suggestions for the song? Uh, outfits yep. also? Probably going to have to do a music yep. video for this thing. I yep. mean, it's going really well. Another reminder, if you feel like tipping us because you appreciate it so we can uh, get a beer when we get the opportunity. I think uh, we've missed last call since this ran so late. but uh, Today's last call. It's appreciated, if, especially if you like what we're doing. Uh, constructive criticism is always good, too. You feel like there's something that we're not covering or the stream looks fuzzy or something like that. Feel free to let us know. All right. Good night, guys. We'll be back with you tomorrow here at Hill Hill Productions. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Out. Cheers. <laughs>